All right, so today is August 17th, uh, 10 years since the day I moved from Nashville to Mobile. And this date has significance in my testimony. And, you know, I was thinking about this day in general. I mean, it, it kind of, it's a mile marking type of day, you know. It doesn't pop up on my news feed, but it's kind of up here in the news feed of my mind. So 2006, seems like an eternity ago. Kicking off that year, there was a, I was a part of a church split, and it was, it was ultimately a good thing, but it was painful in the moment. I just remember feeling really angry and lost and confused. You know, I wasn't upset at God or anything, but I was upset at what I had, you know, prioritized as a, as a big part of my life, and that was Christian community. And this church, I was leaving you know, a big part of my spiritual formation and development for 11 years. There was a, a season, really, where I didn't have a church family, and so it's not like I got heavy in the orphan spirit, per se. I guess, like, with a, a lot of other things going on in my life at that point, um, the big one being I was looking to transfer out from Belmont and go to a meteorology school, and what ultimately landed was University of South Alabama. I wanted to be a weatherman. I wanted to explore that that possibility having done two years of math and physics at Belmont. I moved to Mobile on August 17th and I didn't know it at the time but I kind of was running away from my calling. I didn't really know what my calling was but in hindsight I think there was a part of me that knew pastoral ministry was in the cards. I was, But again I was mad at church. I wasn't mad at God, I was mad at church. What's so ironic is that you know, I didn't live on campus. Instead, I uh, there was a friend of my dad's who pastored an Assemblies of God church in town. And in order to pay for my room and board, they had me intern with this youth pastor there. I was kind of his right-hand man. At first, I was like, oh, great. This is, you know, whatever. But I, it was going to pay for my room and board. So I just, you know, I was like, okay, well, let's do it, you know? But long story short, I just remember falling in love with youth ministry. The more I was exposed to it and around it, I was like, there's something here for me. Uh, I'd call home, and the first thing I'd tell my parents, tell my friends about, it wasn't about meteorology. It was about youth ministry. It was just funny, you know, just being in church life again and being a part of a family who just kind of adopted me in. You know, I found my heart changing enough to the point where the following May, this was 2007 now, I just felt the Lord say, hey, I got something better for you. I trust me, I lay this down. That being meteorology and my future in it. So it was one of the hardest things I ever made, but I've, eventually I just uh, accepted and I was obedient and, you know, moved back home Realizing I had a good year, but realizing that the Lord was calling me into, you know, pastoral ministry. And so flash forward to the summer and I'm at a crossroads. I'm not sure what's going to happen the following year, but I do know that I had made the right decision in coming home to reassess and reevaluate. And it was at this point when, you know, even though I had the peace that I was making the right decision, I remember again feeling very confused and unsure uh, of where I was headed. Interesting enough, I, I decided to finish my education at Lee University and moved to Cleveland August 17th, 2007. One year after I moved to Mobile, I was moving somewhere new, my third school in three years. And, and thus began the hardest two year stretch of my life. You know, we have this romantic idea that when we obey God, that everything's gonna fall into place, that everything just kind of supernaturally aligns and everything is great, smooth sailing. And that's not always the case. Sometimes when we obey God, uh, life doesn't get easier, it gets harder. Lee was just kind of a barren wasteland. It was my wilderness. It was something that I needed to go through to come face to face my own depravity, really, and understand that I needed Jesus in a, in a new, fresh way, in a, really in a way that I'd never known before. In Mobile and in Belmont, I had been sheltered from coming face to face with some of the strongholds in my life and Lee just basically through different people and situations exposed what needed to get right in my own life. So even though Lee was painful, it was difficult, it was challenging, at the same time I'm grateful because it, I needed to go through it to become the man I am today. And just one more reason, when August 17th comes around, I can't help but reflect that date, I guess, just represents my testimony and I just wanted to share because I know some of you are going through confused times and don't know where to turn, where to go. You may be in a season where you just give up something really promising and you are back to square one, you're back to the drawing board and I just 
want to encourage you just um, press into God more than you've ever been. See, for me, I didn't press in. I, I kind of just allowed myself to get a little lazy. Like, okay, I, I did what I was supposed to do. I obeyed God. And I kind of, you know, had this lukewarm relationship, kind of one foot in, one foot out. I would say just, you know, when you reach those moments in your life, like for me, letting go of meteorology, that's when you need to level up and just pursue God with everything that you got and not take the foot off the gas pedal. So know that it's not a bad thing to be confused or back to square one or seeking Lord for direction. That's actually a really exciting place to be. Just give God your all. Give Him your everything. I know we sing about it a lot, but just really consider what that means. Align yourself, sync yourself up with God's heart and His love, His faithfulness. Receive from the Lord. Don't just be so stressed out about where you're going and what's next. Just receive from God what He wants to pour into you, and then He will give you the direction. He'll illuminate the way to go. So anywho, hope you guys found this mini testimony encouraging. And just know that for all you guys who can relate to this, you know, I'm rooting for you. Because I've been there. I've been exactly in your shoes, of course. But I know the struggle and just not knowing what to do at every intersection you come to. And I wish that, you know, 10 years ago, 9 years ago, I had pressed into God more and understood that concept that there's something specifically for me to receive in this season instead of just trying to forge my own trail, trying to make sense of my own way. God is an amazing God. He's super faithful. He redeems, he restores, he reconciles us back to his uh, to his highest, his best. He makes it known to us. He finds us where we're at, even when we feel like we're at the bottom of a pit. And he takes us, he elevates us by his grace and by his spirit. So anyway, I hope you guys got something out of this. Look forward to catching up with you guys later. And uh, if you have a, a comment you want to leave, uh, you know, if you want to message me a prayer request, or if you want to, you know, share a little a bit of your story in, in, the, in the comment below, you're welcome to do that. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, have a great night. Talk to you later. Peace.